The brand new Divi feature called Scroll Effects now allows you to create advanced transitions and animations on your web pages. You can literally animate sections, rows, or modules. Here are examples of what you can do with this, but before we can dive in and start talking about this feature and show you how to actually start using it, I'd like to talk about my special offer. If you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my Divi course, which teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. This course goes into depth and teaches you right from the beginner level to advanced. So make sure you use the uh, affiliate link in the video description below, drop me an email, and I will give you access to the course. And the other thing is, if you've already bought Divi, I also have a 50% discount to the course. So links to that video description below. Okay, so before you wanna get started, you wanna make sure you're running the latest Divi install. This is very important because this feature won't show if you're not running the latest Divi. So let's take a look at this. So over here, sometimes you may want to click here where it says update. This refreshes the system and uh, tells you if you have an update. So if not, it will just show you that there is an update here. So as you can see here, everything is all good. I have all my updates all ready. Okay, so now let's start a brand new page and let me show you how to use this feature. So I'm gonna come over here and click on add new. So let's call this scroll. And then I'm just gonna click on use Divi Builder. To save a lot, save us a lot of time, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a pre-made layout uh, because the most important thing here is to show you how the feature actually works rather than me spend a lot of time creating new designs. All right, so over here now, I'm just gonna choose a pre-made layout. So I'm just gonna go through this and see what I can use for this example. You know what? Let me go with this one here, transportation services. I'm gonna click on use this layout. So this now is going to put, import all the pictures, the layout itself ready for me to start designing. So everything has been imported now. So first things first, I wanna show you where this feature is because it's a bit hidden. So what you need to do is to go on either a section, a row, or even a module. So I'm just gonna go into a module here so I can show you where it is. So if you wanna access this feature, you wanna come over here to the advanced tab, and then all the way down here, you see this entry called scroll effect. So this is where all the action is gonna be. So here we have the vertical motion, so you can animate things vertically. You can also do it uh, horizontally. You can also do a fade in, fade out. You can also scale items as you scroll on the page. You can rotate and you can also add a blur. In order for you to animate something, you wanna come over here and enable that particular item that you wanna work with. And now you're going to get these sliders. So this is where now you have to go in and start tweaking and make sure that the animation that you're seeing on your screen is exactly how you want it. So this is you know, really cool because it gives an idea of what the animation looks like as you're scrolling. So to disable it, all you have to do is to just say no and then it's disabled. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is let's start by working on this bus. So we want this bus to sort of like slide in as someone is scrolling on our page. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna come over here and click on this gear icon, advanced scroll effect. So we want this to scroll from the left to right, just ever so slightly. So I'm gonna click on the horizontal motion and then enable it. So right away you can see that this, these defaults has really, you know, pushed everything over to the left. So as I scroll, you can see now it's going further and further away over to the left, but that's not what we want. We want this bus to be going that way. So this is where now you want to play around with the start and end position. So let me start from zero here. Okay, so you can see we're going in the wrong direction. So now I'm gonna come over here to the offset and set this to zero. So this is the end point that we need. Right, so the next stage now is to just offset this to zero and the midpoint is what I'm interested in here. So I'm going to drag this over to the left ever so slightly. So I think I'll go with minus two. Now, when I scroll this, notice what happens. It's actually coming into frame, but we have a slight problem here because this bus is supposed to be behind this orange part here. So let's fix that. So I'm going to save this and then I'm gonna go into my row. It's the first column that I'm interested in. Click advanced, position, 
And then I'm gonna come over here to the Z index and then just drag this to about, let's say 44. So you can see here, I've actually solved the problem. So now I'm gonna save, save one more time. And if I start scrolling now, you can see the bus is coming in slightly as I'm animating this. Really cool. Now you can also go in and really customize this the way you want it. So let's go back in here so I can show you what else you can do here. So let's say, you want to slow it down, it is going really, really fast. If we come over here to our scroll effects, so over here, we can actually split this like that. So now by doing that, it means that right there in the middle, it's gonna spend a bit of time in the middle and then animate out as well. So now you can see when I scroll, it sort of like slows down and then it goes out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out of this so you can see the whole animation as I'm building this. All right, so let's save that. Okay, so that's our first animation. Let's move on. Let's see what else we can animate here. We can see here, we can also animate this. Now let's do the opposite here. So again, we're gonna come over here to advanced, scroll effects, horizontal, let's enable that. So you can see here, it's way in. So let's drag this out a little bit. Now let's animate it. Okay, so you can see here, it's going out of the frame. So it comes in and then it goes out. So it's up to you how you wanna animate this, but if you, if we start here from, let's say zero, see what happens is I'm scrolling here. It comes in and then as I'm going out, is actually disappearing. Cool, so that's a fantastic effect. So I'm happy with that, I'm gonna save. Now let's see what else we can do here because there's quite a lot of things we can do with this feature. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into my row settings here. And what I'm gonna do with the row settings is I want to apply a blur effect. So as I'm scrolling through, I want the blur to be applied as, as I'm scrolling away from the page. So I'm gonna come over here to blur, enable it. And then what I'm gonna do here is, I'm just gonna start testing these points and just see how much blur I can add there. So you can see here, it's very extreme. So that's what I normally do. You wanna go in, test it and see how far you can go with it. So you can see there, it's totally blurred, okay? So now let's dial this down again, down to about, let's say 14. There we go. So 14, it blurs. And then here, the starting blur as well, it's on a 10. In fact, you know what, let's keep this at 10. It's much better that way. Right, so 10 is the starting blur, and then it gets to the middle, everything gets in focus, and then it blurs again. So pretty much this is what's happening here. So mid blur, it means it's zero, you know, nothing is happening there, it's in focus. So if I start scrolling here, notice what happens. It's, and then when it gets to the middle, it's now showing and then it blurs again. But you know what? What's really cool here is to extend this part here in the middle because if someone is scrolling fast, they won't be able to actually read this information. So now if we go in and scroll here, now we can read that and as it's going off the page, it is blurring. Excellent, that's really cool. So I'm really happy with that, I'm gonna save that. Now let's try another, another effect. So this time we want to spin things around, okay? So let's go ahead and do that here. So I'm gonna go into my, sec uh, my section settings and then scroll effects. So this time I want to rotate. I'm gonna enable, enable it. So now when I scroll, notice what happens. That car now is rotating into position just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. And if I right click here, copy module styles, I can actually apply it over here as well. Paste module styles. And now we have this style applied to both of them. So now we have quite a bit of uh, animations going on. We have the main one here where the bus is sliding in. This one is sliding out. We are blurring in as we're scrolling here. And then here we have these cars coming into position. Right, now there's still quite a few more that we can do. And uh, let's see what else we can do here. 
So let's say I want this to expand as I'm scrolling down. So let's go in and go into our settings, advanced, scroll effects. Let's use the scaling up. Activate it. So what you want to do here is, as you can see, the middle part here is on 100%. So this is where you want to make it slightly bigger. Let's make it 120. Okay, save that. Now, I'm going to save the whole page. And we are going to test, test the animations now and see how this works. Exit the Visual Builder. Okay, so now let's scroll through and see how this is going to look. So as I'm scrolling, you can see the bus here is coming in. The van is now going out as I'm scrolling away from the page. And then watch this text expand as I'm scrolling this. And now that is getting into focus. And then it blurs again. And then these two are animating into place. So as you can see, this, these are just like basic things that I was able to uh, play around with. But you can become even more creative with this and add even more crazy animations. But here's the thing. When it comes to design, design is about communication, not decoration. So you want to make sure that you don't excessively use these features. So just add them in a subtle way just to enhance the design that you are actually putting across and just to, you know, help the communication better. So as you can see here, we've actually used this bus and the animation effects because... Yeah, it works. Seeing the, the bus slide in, you know, it actually helps with the design itself. So it's not really taking anything away from the actual design. So as you can see here, it's scrolling in. And even here, the van, just seeing that motion is really cool. Now, there's something I haven't mentioned, and that is these features actually work on tablets and smartphones. So fully compatible. And the last thing is, I just want to say that if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and hit subscribe. And also, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to my Divi course, which teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.